Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we participated in another Shadowfang Keep, and we acquired the Belt of Erugal, guys. So we are done with that dungeon. We got all of the loot that we wanted to get, and we also got the Shimmering Trousers of Fiery Wrath, which give us plus 10 fire spell damage, which is pretty damn good for us. And I know I said we would not come back to Terran Mill, but I decided... This would be a pretty good place for us to start questing to get to level 25. Stand at attention while Let's pick up Battle of Hillsborough. I am under direct command of Barimathras. We are to quell the human infestation until our apothecaries can develop the new plague. Our information leads us to believe that the town of Hillsbrad is vulnerable to attack. Your first assignment is aimed at disrupting their food supply and infrastructure. Travel west. Raid the northernmost farms of Hillsbrad Fields. Make sure that the landowners, Farmer Ray and Farmer Getz, are executed as well. Ah, oh, another wretched day in Taran Mill. <laughs> All of this clean air puts me in such a foul mood, adventurer. The sooner we can plague the humans here, the better. I've been conducting intense studies on possible killing agents to use in my concoctions but I haven't the time to collect them all. If you want to make yourself of use, procure the following items for me. Ten grey bear tongues and the very rare and hard to find Creeper Ichor. You'll find both bears and creepers just outside of Taran Mill. Oh, adventurer. The flowers are blooming in Hillsbrad and the air is so fresh and brisk. I can't help but to wallow in the misery of it all. I look out my grimy window and long for the day when our new plague brings this world the death it deserves. As much as I would love to sit and brood all day, my duty to the Dark Lady calls. Help me, would you? My research leads me to believe I can make the most splendid death brew with the blood of a mountain lion. Bring some to me and we'll have a little fun. All right, guys. Well, here we go. We have to slay these bears, and then we are going to head over here to this place where there's like a bunch of farmers. We're going to slay some farmers as well. And I got uh, regeneration going, so we'll be able to do a little bit of AOE. Let's uh, group up, maybe. We'll try three. Maybe we'll just try two, actually. We'll see how this goes. Oops. We're healing for quite a bit here. Seems like two's not too bad. Just want to see what we're capable of here. We got ourselves another Waylight Surprise crate. Supposedly the reputation gain has gone up. And also a lot of news came out, guys. February 8th is the official launch of phase two of season of discovery so we will be able to level from levels 25 to 40 the nomergon raid is going to be the the new raid and the pdp event is actually going to be in stranglethorn vale so i'm interested to see what they do with that supposedly it won't be like uh the battle of hillsbrad so that should be good I think I'm doing this wrong. Right, we'll see. We're healing a bit here. We need to heal more than this. Well, that's not too bad. I'm able to get him down there. I mean, yeah, the Battle of Ashenvale, so it won't be like that. I think they realize that they didn't do too good of a job with the battle for Ashenvale, so they're going to be making a, a few changes. So I guess while we're waiting for Living Flame to come off cooldown, we'll just do a little bit of single target damage here. And I think February 8th is a, is a good time. I I have no problem with each phase being 10 weeks. No problem at all with that. 
gives people time to level up multiple alts. There's, no one feels like they're in like a rush to get the content completed. It's good. And I think anybody who thinks it's too long, I don't know. I think you're, you're rushing the developers a little too much. I, I kind of like the days when, you know, Blizzard would say it, it'll, it'll come out when it comes out. Th that's Those were the days when the games were good, in my opinion. Nowadays, they have like a, a lot of quotas they have to make sure they they complete. So I think that affects the quality of the games. I think that's why Diablo 4 just wasn't that good. Yeah, damn it. Forgot to use regen. Might actually have to uh, retreat from this one. We can handle two. Try kiting him. Do you have a health pod that we can use? This could be a big mistake. Don't want to die. And they don't seem to be dying. There we go, we got one. It's a close call. Could have died there. <laughs> we gotta watch out. And supposedly there's rep increases for uh, the Warsong Outriders rep, which is the Warsong Gulch rep. When you do the, the turn-in for the quest that gives you these drums each week, supposedly you're getting a 2,000 rep for that now. So farming that rep shouldn't be that bad at all. I might actually do a little bit of more of that on my Warlock. Not too sure if I'm going to raid on the Mage. Maybe. I think I'm just going to level another character after this. Maybe we'll try to get some more of the ruins on the mage, but I don't know if I'll be raiding on him. Not really too sure what I want to do on this character, to be honest. Mostly just AoE farming and, and getting his professions up, I think. Got another one coming here. It's not good. So we'll poly this guy. And then we'll deal with him. To remember that these guys run away. Okay, so do we have enough time for a pyroblast? Let's see. Looks like we do. Let's have a drink. And I wonder what they'll do with uh, the Stranglethorn PvP event. I, just, I had a feeling that that was going to be the main PvP zone. There always tends to be quite a bit of PvP there. I'm surprised they didn't make it um, this, this zone, though, Hillsbrad, because of Terran Mill and South Shore. Maybe they're saving that for later. All right, so we have some farmers here. Maybe we can deal with three farmers. Let's see how this goes. Right, oh yeah, damn it. Messed up again. I always forget to use regeneration. I'm gonna start blowing up though. I think we can deal with more than three farmers. That was pretty easy. Got another one coming. Just need to remember to use regeneration before we pull. It seems like some of the viewers want me to play Alliance again, so the next character will probably be Alliance, I think. And we will be playing on Living Flame. 
I was thinking about getting a horde, another horde character going though, because I kind of want to have three. Three's kind of like the magical number for for like amount of characters per server, in my opinion. Because you can have four of the. You can have one for gathering professions, and then you can have two for the other professions that require gathering professions. That's why I think it's good. Three's a good number. So we'll probably come back to Horde again, but I, I will make sure the next one is, uh, is Alliance this time around. We get one more. There we go. Moving we'll flame. Should heal here. All right, there we go. There we are. Nice. That was great. These farmers are getting wrecked. Kind of feels like I'm finally doing that pull correctly. We'll try five next time. We'll see how that goes. So what we do is we just, uh, we regeneration, then I group them up with Living Bomb, and then I use Living Flame. And then we heal for, for quite a bit. Then you just spam Arcane Explosion to get them all down. Problem is we have to wait a minute to get our Living Flame back up. Another farmer in there. We'll have, our, we'll have it up soon, actually, so. Let's see what kind of a pull we can get here. Get at least four, maybe five. One, two, three. Already dazed. Five. Living flame. And then heal for a bunch here. Let's bring them all into this. That guy will poly him. He's gonna run away, which is not good. Hopefully, he doesn't run to another farmer. Alright, let's use Evocate here. Because I do want to get enchanting on this mage. And I want to keep alchemy. And to do that, which means I'm going to lose herbalism. So I need I need a third character. <laughs> I, I don't really need one. To be honest, the best way to make gold is to do GDKPs. So. Like having all the other professions is nice and all, but... If you really want to make gold, just get your character raid ready and and do GDKP. So it, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I, it's just something I prefer. If bots didn't exist, guys, then having three characters with four different max professions would help a lot for farming gold. Supposedly down here is completely bot infested. This Naga, there's like level 29, 26 to 29 Nagas here. Supposedly they drop around level 24 to 25 greens. So, and it's a popular place to go to for farming. And supposedly it's littered with hunter bots. So what do we need here? We need a uh, farm... Need to find Farmer Ray. There's Stanley. It's terrible what the undead do to Stanley. I don't know if we'll get to that quest. It's kind of crazy how we are almost level uh, 25. We actually might get that level today. It's nuts how much XP we get. We did have quite a bit of blue bar, though. So yeah, we're just looking for specific farmers now. There's Citizen Wilkes. Is he, on, is he one of the targets? No, it's just Farmer... Farmer Ray. Farmer Gets.
So I think one's inside here. Let's do a little AoE farm here. Anybody else? Look at this guy. A little bit of living flame. Bring everybody into it, so healing for quite a bit. Have a drink. See what this green's all about. Defender Bracers of the Bear. 16 silver, 59 copper. But a month is a long time, guys. We got over a month until phase two, so maybe I'll be able to get uh, an alliance character up and then the final horde character. And then we can start working on a, a few more characters on the alliance side. Okay, so there's just Hillsbrad farmers in here. I thought Farmer Gets would be in here. But I guess not. Oh, there he is. Farmer Gets. Okay, so let's do a little bit of AOE here. Get Farmer Gets. And four is more than enough. That's five there. Gotta get this Living Flame up or we're gonna be in trouble. I must say, this Season of Discovery AoE farm is pretty damn fu fun compared to regular classic AoE farming. In regular classic, you would go Frost Tree, and then you would go down into Improved Blizzard for the slow, and then you would just Blizzard them down. Try to get some range, and then when they get close, you just use Arcane Explosion, then cross your fingers that you don't die. Because you don't get the, you know, healing from regeneration. All right, so we're looking for Farmer Ray. Oh, we got a Horde player here. I mean, Alliance player. <laughs> Could gank us, guys. We got to watch out. Make sure we get buffed up. But if he's a rogue. Hopefully our Frost Nova hits. No, there he is, a warrior. Yeah, he's going to try to kill us. We're dead. I got a polio. Our only chance, we're dead. Oh, man. There we go. We lost our buff, guys. Guess he doesn't have much to do today. He's just like, you know what? I'm going to gank horde that are slaying alliance farmers. I don't blame him. I've done that before as an alliance player. He has PvP trinket, though. Uh, the Frost Nova hit and he used PvP Trinket, got out of it, and that was the end of that. We really need to cast Polly right away. The hamstring slowed us by quite a bit, so couldn't really get away. And yeah, we just died. So PvP Trinket for the win, guys. If he didn't have one, we would have gotten away 100%. Would have been nice if we had Blink, though. Our Polymorph almost got off. If we got that, we could have 100% got away. I used Health Bot, but didn't heal us for that much. That's how it, ha that's how it goes, guess. We had regen up. We could have living flamed him and healed for a bit. Thing is, mages should be warriors. The problem is, we're playing fire mage. 
I mean, he was slowed when he hit us. We have frost armor up. As far as he was able to catch up to us. He's probably going to gank us again, so we need to watch out. Just sucks that we lost our buff. I had a feeling we were going to get ganked. I thought it was a rogue. I didn't think it was a warrior. And I don't even know if that was the PvP trinket. That could have just been the racial that got him out, right? That OP human racial. Which is pretty much a trinket. I don't think they have that, though, in Classic, right? I could be wrong. leather gloves for edgy for stamina yeah I wonder if they have that like every man for themselves. I think it's called the racial I know it's in Wrath of the Lich King yeah well, let me check that out human racial classic I, I think it's the PvP trinket. There he is. He's back again. Oh my gosh, man. Doesn't do any damage to him. <laughs> He's clearly geared. Getting camped by a warrior, level 25 warrior with gear. I don't even think Living Flame would help, because all he has to do is get us low and then he executes us and we, we're pretty much dead. But we will slay Farmer Ray, guys. That's, that's the plan. We're going to try to slay Farmer Ray. We just have to find him. And all of the farmers there, they're all allied with him too, so we can't, like, you know, pull him into other mobs. It's kind of a dangerous place for Horde. That's why it's a fun place to camp as Alliance. I wish we were playing Warlock. My Warlock would kill that guy, like 100%. I would not die to that warrior at all. Like the amount of health you get back from Drain Life, your health stone, your haunt also healing you as well. It's, it's kind of hard for you to die as a Warlock. And then if anything gets, you know, a little too close, we can just sack our pet for a 500 health shield. Like bubble, pretty much. And live. I should have got that poly off. I don't know why, like how we didn't get that off. I think maybe I had a, like a dot up on him.
But he's got a lot of health, you can tell. My my abilities didn't really do a lot of damage to him. My living flame barely did anything. Let's see if he's back in here again. Is he in here? Maybe. Still have to find Farmer Ray. I guess we'll just AoE while we wait. Gonna watch out though. He's probably gonna attack us while we're doing our AoE farm here. But it is what it is. Spells do less damage too now that we don't have the buff. And I assume the warrior probably has the Black Fathom buff, so their, his movement speed is 20% faster. And he hits a lot harder. But yeah, I guess we'll just chill here and farm farmers until we find Farmer Ray. I think he ends up just spawning just outside of the this place, right? Is he right there? There he is. Okay, perfect. How much time do we have left on our living flame? Three seconds. So are we going to slay Farmer Ray? Or will this warrior slay us once again? <laughs> Who knows? We'll have to see. Comes out of nowhere. Who wrecks us? Yeah, there we go. Farmer Ray right down. Let's head back to Terran Mill. Is that the warrior? No, it's a night elf. Uh, Hunter. I think I'm going to get attacked. We're in a weak position now. <laughs> we have no buff. I don't know if he has buffs. He's just fast because he's Hunter. Doesn't look like he has any. We have to watch out with our pulls too. We cannot kite as well without the, the Black Fathom buff. We'll do three at a time here. These guys, don't run away. Just letting flame a little bit. These level, these level 26 are beefy, man. So level 22, a 24, and a 26. I don't think we can do four. That was... Maybe we can. If they're all level 22, I think we can. We have a talent point. I can't believe we forgot. I always forget the talent points. <laughs> Gives your fire spells. I think we'll take Burning Soul. Or maybe we should just keep going and do Improved Flame Strike. Yeah, we'll do that. More damage with our Flame Strike. It's just hard to get that off, though. I just think Arcane Explosion is just better. Maybe if we Nova them after, we could Flame Strike. Okay, well, let's get ready here. Try to pull three at a time. There we go. Looking Flame. Try to do a Flame Strike, but it's, yeah, it's going to take too long. It's not worth it. Seems to always be one left. 
think Flame Strike's just better in dungeons and raids. When you can actually get your casts off without them being. I guess interrupted. It's not bad. You just use all your mana. By the time you get your mana back up, Blooming Flames is pretty much ready to go. So it kind of lines up. Need five more tongues. Sticking with three at a time. Might be four here. It's not good. Not bad. We lift. Close call though. Four's, four's probably our max. And we're four bars away from 25. I didn't think we would get this much XP doing this, but I guess we should have done this later. We're getting quite a bit of XP just AoE farming like this. It's probably better than the XP we're getting in, in the dungeons. Right, we'll have a living flame up soon. Just need to find a good pack of mobs here. They seem to be pretty spread out. There's two right there. I'll try this. That one's gone. I need to chase him. There's the Yetis over there. They would wreck us. I think we would barely hit them. They're level 31. Got to get the regen off. This could be a rough one. Got another one coming here. I don't have a living flame up yet. Should be okay. It's worried about that bear running back in here, though. <laughs> there are quite a bit of mountain lines up here. And down here as well. Oh, we just have the one with the gray bear tongues. And we have to get Creeper Icker as well. Oh, for the suffering one, we need one creeper. 
We're not getting very lucky with uh, the lion blood. And supposedly if you have like all of these quests completed, when phase two comes out and you don't turn them in, you get uh, quite, quite a lead. I think you can get up to level 29 just by turning in all the quests, supposedly. That's true. If we can get them all here. Let's see if we're this one be the last. Okay, so we're almost done with the bears. Keep heading over to the mine over here. See if we can try to get this uh, this creeper acre as well. Maybe we won't even turn in the quests, right? Because we're going to hit level 25 in a few bars, so... Maybe we should save them. I don't know. We could turn them in for gold. with the bear tongues. So now we just have to find a creeper tongue. I guess we'll find that over here. But yeah, I think the racial abilities are not updated in SOD. So they don't have, I don't think they have the, the racial that, you know, gives them pretty much a trinket and allows them to get out of CC. I think all they have is the, all they have is the one that detects invisibility and then they have the the mace and sword specialization and then also the increased uh, reputation gains so that warrior probably had a, a trinket pvp trinket Probably in a PvP spec, too, I would assume. There's a level 25 human mage. Out farming the same mobs as me. There's a spider there. They're level 25 here. Don't know if we could handle that. Let's see. Nope. Missed. Okay. Hopefully our living flame doesn't miss or we're dead. Let's see how this goes. Oh, not bad. You can handle three. Maybe maybe four. I just wonder how hard it is to get this creeper acre. Yeah, I think we're hitting 25 today, guys.
I didn't think we would get this much XP, but we've gotten quite a bit. Okay, so let's do this again. Try three this time. They're all level 25. Well, it's 24. Make sure you put a living flame on level 25. Let's see if we can handle three. Looks like we can. Maybe we can handle four. There we go. We got the creepy acre. The Creeper Icker. And we got a dot on us called Concussive Poison. 10 nature damage inflicted every 5 seconds. Armor reduced by 79. Now we'll head... Maybe we'll head south and we'll check out this Murloc camp. Usually there's a lot of people farming down here. It's actually a popular... Like, Murlocs can actually farm pretty damn well as, as well. Just as good as hunters, I think. Well, maybe not as fast, but... They can survive. And warlocks farm down here as well. Against these high level murlocs. This is another mob that drops. Uh, see, they're all like level 31. So they drop high level greens as well. There's also chests here that drop some nice BOE blues. I actually got a sword here on my night elf rogue on hardcore from one of those chests over there. It might've been a mace. I think it was a mace and it just completely changed the game for me. On my my rogue, I was doing so much more damage. Finding a weapon in solo self found is like the best thing you can find <laughs> because they are hard to obtain. You have to really go out of your way to to get them, and you really, you have to do a little bit of research too to find out where they all are. Okay, so we finished those quests. I guess we'll just head back. Or maybe we should just continue the farming, guys. And instead just get gold from the quests. Maybe we'll get lucky. And get a decent green. like Probably like a level 20 from these guys. Yeah, Mage AoE is just going to get even stronger as uh, as they level up, I think. That's another thing to look into. It's is like how far far down we're going to get in the tree here. Like Master of Elements, your fire and frost spell criticals will refund 10% of base mana costs. That's insane for this AoE spec. So I assume it goes up to 30% when you max it out. So you're going to get a bunch of, like, bunch of uh, mana back while you're doing your, you know, your, your damage. So you'll be able to get a few more arcane explosions in. Go to where all of the mountain lines are. Trying to get a few more of the, the mountain lion bloods. And I think we will be able to obtain that at level 40, so it's going to help quite a bit. Will we get combustion? Once we get combustion, oh man. Probably won't get that next phase, though. When activated, this spell causes each of your fire damage spell hits to increase your critical strike chance 
with fire damage spells by 10%. This effect lasts until you have caused three critical strikes with fire spells. And then there's fire power. It, all, all the talents that are coming up are pretty damn good. There's more mountain lions over here. Do a pull here, though. If we were, if we had our buff, we could catch that guy probably, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that for this pull. Did it miss? Yeah, it missed. No trouble. Yeah, good old miss. Maybe we can get a nice flame strike here. They're going to run right to us, though. Let's see if we can handle this. Probably not. I don't think that's killing anybody. Look at that. The mi another miss. The life of missing. At least we'll get this guy down. That is a spell you really don't want to miss this living flame. And if you don't notice that it misses, it missed, then you you might die. <laughs> you're going to wonder why you're not getting heals. And I wonder if warriors will get nerfed. That would be interesting. Because warriors are going to... They're just going to get better. And they're already... In a pretty good spot in PvE, so... We'll see what happens. And since this is Season of Discovery, your class can get nerfed. You know, they don't have to make sure it's just like the old, old classic. So maybe we'll start seeing warrior nerfs in the future. If they get a little too out of hand. And we've seen, like, once they started getting gear from the BFD raid, they really began to, uh, to, to just go off and do a ton of damage. I honestly think we could kill five of them. Maybe even six. It's just dangerous to do a pull like that. Because if your living flame misses, you're going to get wrecked. You have to run away. If your living flame and frost nova misses, you are dead. You don't have a living flame for this one. It's not up for a while. It's Maybe we can handle them. Look at that. Cost Nova misses as well. Can't polymorph. Can kill them now, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more bar to go. How much XP do we need? Just over a thousand, around fifteen hundred. An undead priest. Little spread out around here. I think the other side is just better than farming over here. If they're a little too spread out for you to group them all up. There's a, a goblin vendor. 
can actually go sell stuff to him. This could be a pretty good group over here. Let's see if we can catch them all. Okay, please. Please don't miss. I just didn't miss. Can we survive this? Again. That was five. Got a little close at the end, though. We're taking quite a bit of damage. How much XP did we get from that? Around 500. The best place for farming, though, is here. But it's, there's always some alliance there trying to grief mages like me. I've done that before, though, so I can't hate on them. I've, I think I did that on the hunter. I had a dwarf hunter pro life through, and I think I did that to some mages that were farming at uh, Hillsbrad Farms. Okay, yeah, one more. No, damn it. I didn't have to run away like that. Alright, will the next pull be the pull that gets us 25? It might be. Stay away from South Shore, though. <laughs> There's a Night Elf Hunter there. Okay, I think we have a pull here. Is he going to attack us? Not sure. We'll just deal with two for now. We'll get deals from this. We are. And there we go. That's it, guys. Level 25. How about that? We did it. Let's get our final rank of an. Oh, we can get Master of Elements. We're going to take that instead. It's cool that you can get a, at least a rank of that. But yeah, guys, we have hit level 25. The mage playthrough is is done for now. We will be starting a new character. And whatever I do on this mage, I'll, I'll make sure I put it on the channel. Especially if we start to get more of these runes. We have five more to get. And if I do any raids or, or any PvP, I'll make sure we, we put it on the channel. But that is going to be the end of this playthrough, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Oh, looks like we got one more pull in us. Okay. Not over yet. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Living Flame did not work. Are we going to get ganked by a rogue? It's sort of like a stealth around us. I think we're going to die here. This is classic me. This is what would happen to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's it. We have to do another pull. I can't end it like that. That was hilarious. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting, like, <laughs> I don't know, trolled by the game. That was funny. I guess they didn't want me to stop playing the mage. They're like, no, man, you gotta keep pulling. You gotta keep doing AoE farming. Yeah, we will be, we'll be, we'll be, a new playthrough is coming out next, next episode. That's the plan. I had a lot of fun in this mage, though. The AoE farming was cool. I think once we got the, the three, um, ruins of Living Bomb, Living Flame, and either Regeneration or Burnout, it starts to become a lot of fun playing a mage. Now we're doing one more pull. We can't just... We're not signing off on a death like that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to Hillsbrad, and we're going to slay some farmers. We're going to do a nice farmer, farmer pull. Now, I'm not going to turn the quests in. Maybe we'll just keep them for later. Because I think we will eventually come back to the mage when the next phase comes out. Not too, not too sure when, though. There's a lot of characters that I want to try out. Oh, man, that guy just died. I wish I had a scroll of resurrection for him. But I don't. I was probably hoping I do. <laughs> I don't think he released yet. We'll get some revenge on these men and lads. Let's see if we get another. Nope. go. Yeah, I'm not too sure when we'll be playing him again. We'll see what happens. I think we'll try to sp split it up between Alliance and Horde next time. Because there's clearly some people on the channel that prefer the Alliance leveling more than the Horde leveling. I prefer Alliance over Horde, especially from levels 1 to 30. I think I just think it, they have better zones than the Horde does. And I like the storylines more. So I can understand why people prefer Alliance over Horde. But it was nice to come back. I was leveling quite a bit of Alliance characters there in the last year. So it was fun coming back and giving the Horde a go again. And I will be leveling up the Warlock most. That'll probably be the first character I level up in Phase 2. It's kind of like my main character, I would say. Alright, so here we go. Let's go slay some farmers, guys. Get a nice bowl here. How many should we go for? I think that's enough. We're gonna die. And we live. Please don't die. The living bombs need to save us. And there we go. And that is a good ending, guys. We have finished off the farmers at Hillsbrad Farms. 
and we are calling this playthrough here. Hopefully I don't get ganked by Alliance before we end it. But that is going to be the end of this playthrough, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.